for a second I thought I was gonna have a problem. <laughs> anyway, welcome to this learning talk. It will be fast, it will be just 15 minutes. So uh, this is, I will start with a tiny introduction. Marco Mancini, I am part of the threat operations team here at Thorn Machine. We do everything related to detection engineering, finding malware, doing forensics, and doing incident response. Uh, you can find me in the website if you want to contact me uh, for anything and start. So at Thorn Machine, we are running a cloud native architecture in which we do hundreds of deployments per day, run everything in Kubernetes, run everything on a multi-cloud environment, and we try to have, well, we try, we do have a microservices architecture, which means a lot of tiny uh, systems and a lot of images that are being changed constantly. This brings us to problems with Kubernetes. Kubernetes is not, it's not I would say anymore, a, a vulnerable system, but still you need to care about the vulnerabilities of your containers, malware that may happen on clusters, misconfigurations in clusters, among other fun stuff. I'm sure application security people and pen testers and hackers alike are enjoying with this new technology. Like a scale brings you amazing things. The thing is, for vulnerabilities and malware, I'm gonna talk about two open source tools that are, in my opinion, very useful. Trivi from Aquasec and Falco from Cizik. So first, what is Falco? Very simple. So Falco is a runtime uh, security tool that what it does, it's, it's able to instrumentalize the kernel through VPF so it knows what's going on on the system at runtime. So everything that runs on a system can be checked by Falco. This is based on a rule set that you can set in, in the systems and it's very easy to have this running on a Kubernetes uh, containers. So interestingly enough, Falco is meant to detect malicious things, but you can also use it to detect benign things if you want to baseline your environment to know what is happening in your cluster. Then we have Trivi. Trivi is an open source vulnerability scanner. And there from the documentation, you can see, you can scan container images, you can scan file systems, even Git repositories, and it will have different types of uh, scanner types. The thing is, it has also a, a Kubernetes operator, which means that you can run Trivi inside the environment and it will continuously scan all your resources that you are deploying. So let's say you have thousands of images on your repo, and then only like, for example, 100, 100 of them being actually used on the cluster. Trivi will actually scan the ones that you are running on the cluster. And if any engineer wants to just run things without using a, a, a CICD, there will also be catch there. So the thing is, as I was saying, set operations, we work with detection engineering. What is detection engineering? It's applying an engineering mindset and a data analytics mindset to detecting threats. Here, the remit of the team is identifying threats, weaknesses, attackers, but then also capturing the context to prioritize better and using different data sources and different uh, data to be able to help engineers and also application security people. In this case, I'm gonna, like this talk is about an idea which we implemented which would be Falco can be used to collect context from what is running on the system. And then Chibi gets context of vulnerabilities. But what if we get both? The thing is what we do is we merge the data through enriching different data sets, which will mean that we can make a, a Falco rule that detects when a binary is running and when a binary is accessing uh, the network stack, but then we also know through the trivia operator what images and what binaries are vulnerable. So here we have three different data sets, the Falco data set, the Trivi operator data set, and the Falco metadata. This, using the Falco metadata, which is a bridge between these two disparate data sets, we actually create a new thing, which is a, cor a correlation and an alert, which gives us when a new container appears on the network, 
that has a binary that's being executed and that binary has a vulnerability, we need to know immediately. So this is to help all the application security and all the vulnerability management people that they work with thousands of vulnerabilities maybe on all the state. Well, if you have thousands of images, you probably have hundreds or hundreds of thousands of vulnerabilities that Trivi is showing you in different levels of severity. So what this data will give you at the end will be an alert, vulnerable service being executed, and that it's mixing all this data. So how this works in practice, it's you deploy Falco everywhere, you deploy a Chibi operator everywhere, and we have Elastic, elastic Search and Python correlating everything and then giving us this. This is just an idea, well, an idea of the many things that are done to detection engineering, but it's a way of us being able to help the well to help our application and our application security colleagues and our security engineering uh, partners inside the company. This is to this is not only like you can go, and my recommendation would be you can go to your friendly psychops people and then tell them yeah, how can how can we work together. No one wants to have vulnerable systems. And also, everyone wants to patch the vulnerable systems that are actually the most likely to be hacked first. And yeah, as I said, very lining talk. I mean, so I'm going to have just a quick second extra to add on dance. Like, obviously, uh, all of this that we do, uh, like we are hiring, we want you to help us, we want you, we, well, to help us protect this and create cool stuff. Here, I'm probably not gonna read everything, but that, those are our two guiding principles, well, two sets of guiding principles for engineering and then for how we do security detection. Here, I'm gonna give it for the, for the, for the YouTube because I think if I start talking about philosophy of, of security, I may be kicked out of the, of the podium. But yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for being here. And I hope you enjoy the, the pizza. These are the rolls. If you're interested, just find me here next to the pizzas. I will be hopping around. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much, Michael.